My name is Matiyo Moloping Edgar. I'm going to facilitate uh, engineering science and so So I'm just going to start with the uh, new chapter which is the stress and strain. So based on the stress and strain, the first definition that I'm going to introduce here, uh, stress and strain is force per unit area and therefore it is measured in Pascals. So the formula for the stress and uh, so the stress is equivalent to the force over the area which is measured in uh, pascals and therefore one pascal is equivalent to one newton meter square per meter square since per is the device division since the area is measured in meter square therefore this one is the force that is going to be applied on the specific object and therefore this is the area at which the, the force is applied measured in meter square since we are dealing with the metric uh, measures Therefore, if the, the applied force or the stress is applied on the second, this is the formula for the second, which is pi d squared uh, over 4. This one you can use, it's, it's also the diameter, but you can also use, you can also use pi r squared for the area of a second, measured in meter squared. Therefore, if we are dealing with the square or the rectangle, we have the following, length multiplied by breath, if the force is applied on a specific uh, square or a rectangle. So, so this one is the formula for the uh, for stress so that you have to be make sure that you are familiar with it, even if it's given on the formula sheet. Therefore, the other one which is the, the strain. Strain is the ratio of the change in length and the original length. I just want to emphasize this one again. Stra uh, strain is the ratio of change in length and the original length, which is which is represented by Axon, we call it an axon, a change in length over original length. Sometimes in the formula should be right x instead of the change in length divided by the original length. And then we have to take note that change in length is L2 subtract L1. This is the final length, this is the, the new length. Therefore, this represents the change in length in meters and therefore the original length also in meters. Since the, the, the change in length and the original length, the meter and the meter they will cancel. It does not have a unit. So now we have the, uh, the, uh, the, the stress and strain. Therefore, let's just jump to uh, shear stress. This one is the shear stress. Shear it means it is when the, the object it can break. Shear it means to break. This is the symbol for the shear stress, which is similar to the formula of the normal stress there. It is F over area, but the only difference this one is measured in time. It's measured in time, unlike this one here. Therefore, we have types of stresses because this one sometimes they can give you in an exam the compressive stress. Compressive stress is when the object is subjected to compressive force. If you compress that object and therefore it returns to its original uh, shape, is what they call elasticity if it returns to its original shape. But if you compress, it does not return to its original shape, it's what you call the plasticity. So now, we have a compressive when you compress it, and therefore we have a tensile force when it is subjected to a tensile force. And the other one is the shear stress. So this one you can say, I mentioned three types of stresses that, that you are familiar with. Therefore, the other one that you have to make sure that you understand it is the Hooke's law. Hooke's law, it, it means the stress is directly proportional to the strain. It means if the stress increases, also the strain will also increase. If the stress, if the stress appreciates, if the stress goes up, the strain also it will go up. It means they're directly proportional to one another. This is the Hooke's law. Therefore, I hope you understand that one, and therefore let's move to the modulus of elasticity and rigidity. Modulus of elasticity, or sometimes they just call it the Young Modulus. Sometimes they just say Young Modulus. Modulus of elasticity here is given by, this one is given by E, the given by the letter E, modulus of elasticity, which is the stress over the strain and at the point of the modulus of elasticity is 
where we are going to find the limit of proportional at more at the angular of elasticity, which is stress over the strain, which is giga pascals. Therefore, this one represents the stress in pascals, and this one represents the strain. The strain remember does not have a unit. So this is the modulus of elasticity. The other one is the modulus of rigidity represented by G for rigidity, which is the shear stress divided by the shear strain. So this one is the shear stress measured in tau. This one is the shear strain uh, which does not have a unit because the meter and the meter it will cancel. So we have modulus of elasticity which is the point at which we are going to determine the limit of proportion and therefore modulus of rigidity. So I hope you understand that one. Therefore we are going to jump to the following. If you are given modulus of elasticity here, we know that modulus of elasticity is the stress over the strain. Therefore we know that the stress is represented by F over area and the strain is the change in length over original length. Therefore, which means here, if I transpose this one, I change division to multiplication, length it goes to the numerator and the, find, uh, the, find, the change in length it goes to the denominator, which is FL over AE. Therefore, I cross multiply. If I cross multiply, remember this one is just like over one here. When I cross multiply, I have the modulus of elasticity, area, and the change in length. Or we can, instead of x, instead of x, we can represent change in length here. Therefore, I, I manipulate the formula, change in length is FL over AE. This is when we are given the modulus of elasticity. That is another formula. I don't think there is no need to find it because it's also given on the formula sheet in this one. Therefore, the other thing that we have to take note here is that the additional information or the additional formula that we have to take note is the reduction in area. Reduction in area is the change in area over the original area. Remember, change in area is the area final subtract area initial. And therefore, the elongation, percentage elongation, change in length is original, is the final pattern, and therefore initial. So this is just an additional formula if maybe they can say find the reduction in area. And therefore this one is that under the elongation. Take no change in length is final minus the initial. I hope you understand that one. So make sure that you understand this formula because this one I don't think they give you on the formula sheet. So the other one that we have to take note here is the stress and strain diagram. The stress and strain diagram, remember I've said I've said the stress is directly proportional to the strain based on the Hooke's law. So here, the stress uh, is represented on the y card or on the y intercept because it's a dependent variable. And therefore, this side, which is the uh, x card, remember this is zero, which is the origin. The strain is independent variable. So this is the stress and strain diagram. So at this point is the uh, Elastic limit at lower uh, yield point in several terms. And this one is the elastic limit at upper yield point. This is the limit of proportion. And at limit of proportion, at limit of proportion is where we are going to find E, modulus of elasticity. At limit of proportion is remember you have applied the force on that specific object and therefore it will also return to its original shape. Remember I said when it returns to its original shape is elasticity but if you maybe have applied the force and therefore it breaks it is plasticity therefore at this point we have applied the maximum force on the specific object this is the maximum force of the maximum stress and therefore it does not uh, return to international shape at this point which is a fracture fracture means it's gonna break at this point at this point it's gonna break so now this is the stress and strain diagram that you have to make sure that you are familiar with it. Just for a recap, just for a recap, we said stress is F over area and therefore we said the strain or is the uh, epsilon which is changing length over original length. 
original length and therefore I also said shear stress is F over area which is similar to that, that one. I've also mentioned the modulus of elasticity, the formula is given, modulus of rigidity, the formula is also given, and therefore the formula for changing length is also given just for your recap, and this is the reduction area and the elongation. But if you can take an example here, as you can see, an example, a tensile force of a 40 kN is applied to a steel rod. Uh, the diameter which is 15 millimeters, calculate the tensile strength in the bar. Since we are dealing with the tensile force, it's like we have an object like this one. It's like we're having an object that has been stressed, that has been subjected to a tensile force. And therefore it has a specific diameter. Remember the diameter is 15 times 10 to the power negative 3. Remember here, we must make sure that we convert to meters so that we can have a metric measure. Remember, when you approach the question that is given like this here, you have to make sure that you, you start uh, by writing the data. This is the data given, and this is the data wanted. We want the stress. This is what is, uh, is given. We know that the force is 40 kN, which is the same as 40,000. You can say 40 times 10 to the power 3 N. And this one, it was 15 mm, we've converted to, uh, to meter. So make sure that you write the, the data that is given before you, uh, you just try to, to, to carry out with the calculation. We know that we have the force over area here. We know that the force is given, which is 40 times 10 to the power negative 3, which is kilo means 1000. Divide by, since we have a diameter, or sometimes they can use the word ball. So we have the diameter which is pi, this is pi, pi over 4 into 15 times 10 to the power negative 3 squared. Therefore, when you want to press the calculator, you will find the stress in mega pascals. Yeah, so this is the chapter for the stress and strain. I hope uh, you will understand the chapter. So, thank you for your cooperation. I really appreciate it.